Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This is me, your English instructor, Muhammad Asnan, once again with all of you people. Today, we are going to be doing one of the most infamous topics and the most trending topics on the internet. That is about the new AI, the self-generative AI, that is Dolly and its company's very brand new chat GPT. Now, uh, this is an app, this is a software that can be used in Chrome. You can install it on your iOS or your system on computer, not uh, for Android installed, but you can use it inside your browser. Uh, this is from the company OpenAI, which means Open Artificial Intelligence, obviously. It has three, artifi uh, three artificial intelligence softwares, Dolly One. Uh, Dolly One was actually a word to image translator that was not that much popular because like people didn't used to use these things back in their days. It wasn't went popular and lots of people didn't use it at that time. Then came Dolly Two. It was really good. People used it a lot. People found out some funny things on Dolly Two. People found out some really amazing things. People found what they wanted. They didn't need a digital creator anymore. They could have just said to Dolly that uh, do this work for me or make this. Uh, text into image you could even give it emojis you could give it gifs you could give it picture you could give it words to transform into an artificial intelligence created picture that is only yours nobody has a copyright of it it's yours nobody can claim on it simple and on the other hand that was not it they created the world's one of the newest one of the best i can call it uh, artificial intelligence uh, self generated uh, software that was chat gpt and chat gpt was pretty amazing pretty fascinating already for us because it would answer any question we would give authentically chat gpt stands for generative pre-trained transformers so what does this mean now first of all let's learn about generative generative means anything that can generate anything like just like we say creative so the same way we say generative now generate create creative generative the same way it goes he's a creative person he's a generative person this is how it goes. Pre-trained means it is trained to answer all your questions. And transformer. It can transform all your questions into answers. And the coolest part. Until now, every single AI used to search for answers, not create them. He used to search for it. And chat GPT was very surprising because it has its own creation it it gives you brand new information totally new but there is some problems now uh, i'll explain those in the future coming parts of this video but i'm not going to spoil them right now but there were some problems with chat gpt and there were still there are some because it is not that much uh, like that is not that much old it is pretty new it had been started working from 2015 with the two most uh, with the one of the world's most richest man current and one of the smartest man Elon Musk and Sam Altman, they both were partners in the open AI or open artificial intelligence. But uh, because Elon wanted to focus a lot on Tesla and a lot on SpaceX, uh, Neuralink, Space, uh, Starlink, he wanted to focus on his own business. But at that time, Tesla was the one he had. So he said that, I'm sorry, Sam, but I have to focus on my own business. But Elon Musk didn't finish the relationships there. He still is a legal advisor and he is still a donor to the open AI system. Now, it was pretty fascinating with the ideas of the two coming together. And in 2020, the announcement of the official software being done, it was announced and hinted a lot of times, but the official one was there. And in 2021, it spread along. In only one day, it got 5 lakh users. And in round about 5 days, it got a million. It was so fast and so rapid that nobody could stop it. It was out. So, if you watch and go to the stats so netflix took around about 3.5 years to get to 1 million here b and d took around about 2.5 years spotify took five months and instagram took 2.5 months it was pretty amazing for all of us and world famous facebook got it in round about 10 months it was pretty fascinating for all of us that the way it was rushing in five days it literally crossed years and years of hard work of other people chat gpt nowadays has more than 100 million users and what can it simply do now chat gpt's special thing was that it wasn't picking information it wasn't taking it from somewhere else and giving it to you. It was creating information. It was learning and giving the information to you. It was special. It was great. It was 
brand new. If you watch, there are a lot of bots out there, artificial intelligence out there, AI assistants out there like Google Assistant or Siri. But whenever we are talking to them, we feel that we aren't talking to a real computer. But this was the first time when people thought they were talking to real humans. It felt so great. It felt like if they were talking to a real human who was interacting with them in real life, who knew about everything and who was also learning like them, who was just learning like a kid was learning as fast as he could and this was totally record breaking because during test it crossed 1 million just in 5 days that was higher than most technological companies could ever get because it took round about many years many months for technological companies like even Facebook YouTube to get that many views to get that many users so if you watch this was pretty amazing chat gpt felt really great and now comes the really fun part that chat gpt is gonna break the bones out of google because it is totally breaking their records and google is also trying to fight back by introducing the world's brand new artificial intelligence that is bar that will be much more smarter much more faster and much more free for the users or if we say simply uh, more or a less uh, expensive version of chat gpt and the great part is that chat gpt has elon musk on its side and it has also contracted with microsoft to be on its side and microsoft is on the side of chat gpt this all was pretty amazing to even know for my own self and i hope you people also enjoyed it with me this in the second episode of chat gpt i will be talking about that what are the benefits of chat gpt to the human mankind thank you so much for being with me allah hafiz